Hello, my name is Bill. So when I started doing programming videos, the plan was to not do any more book videos. But here I am with a, a book video. So I've been watching lots of retro and bare metal computing videos on YouTube. So it's rekindled my interest in things that I was doing many years ago. So this video will be my retro microprocessor books. They weren't so retro when I was doing bare metal programming. Introduction to Microcomputers, Volume 1, Basic Concepts, Second Edition by Adam Osborne. So, when was this one? 1980. So the first edition was probably 1976. Lots of Osborne McGraw Hill books. This one's actually by Adam Osborne. And I programmed this computer for a while in assembly language. Osborne 4 and 8 bit microprocessor handbook. Adam Osborne and Gary Kane. This is copyright 1981, 79, 78, 76, 75. So it's got TMS 1000, MOSTEC 3870, and Fairchild F8, National Semiconductor SC slash MP. The AD, ADA. So, I learned a little bit about 8080s when I was studying the electronics in the, in the 70s, late 70s. The AD 85. So, I was playing with the AD 85 in about 1985. So it was fun doing assembly language on the 8085. 8048, the Z80. So the Osborne computer that I was programming in assembly language had a Z, Z80 in it. Then there's the Z8, the 6800. And the 6500. So I did a little bit of assembly on the 6502 in the Apple computer I had, but I mostly did the assembly on on the Z80 card in, that I had in the back. On the Apple itself, I trying all kinds of languages like Pascal and Logo and Fourth C and Signetics 2650A the RCA Cosmac so I did machine code on the, the RCA 1802. So 
so I didn't have an assembler to start with so I was just writing out my program in assembly on paper and then I was looking up in the chart the machine code and after a while I got so I knew the machine code so I didn't have to look on the chart anymore I just did the assembly in my head the IM6100 the 8X300 or SMS300 and general instruments 1650 series microcomputers Sixteen bit microprocessor handbook includes twenty nine hundred chip slice family by Adam Osborne and Gary Kane. So this is eighty one, seventy nine, seventy eight, seventy six, seventy five. National Semiconductor Pace and INS 8900 General Instruments CP 1600 Texas Instruments TMS 9900 TMS 9980 and TMS 9440 So I did play around with some many computers for the TMS 9900 for a little bit and I didn't play enough to really learn the assembly language but single chip Nova mini computer central processing units Intel 8086 Uh, Zilog 8000 Motorola 68000 so the most fun assembly language I did was the 68000 but I didn't do very much of it 2900 series chip slice uh, MCS 80 user's manual with introduction to MCS 85 so it says October 1977 so I used this book quite a bit There's another 8080 microcomputer system manual, 1975. People at work, when they threw interesting books in the recycle bin, I would fish them out. Eighty eighty five assembly language programming by Lance A. Leventhal. So I used this book quite a bit. So it's from nineteen seventy eight. Z eighty CPU. 
ZADA CPU Technical Manual, September 19, it's not focusing, 1978. Ed 80 Assembly Language Programming Lance A. Leventhal I used this book some but I mostly, mostly used the 8085 instruction set even when I was programming on a Z80 65 or to assembly language programming, Lance Aid, Leventhal. So all these Osborne McGraw Hill books were pretty good back then. This one was 1979. So I did a little bit of 6502 assembly on my Apple II Plus computer. Sixty five oh two assembly language subroutines. Lance A. Leventhal and Winthrop Saville. Nineteen eighty two. Sixty five eight one six sixty five eight oh two assembly language programming. So I never did use this one at all, but maybe I'll have it use for it if I get my hands on a sixty five eight one six processor and play with it on the breadboard. 1986. The 8086 book includes the 8088. Russell Rector George Alexey. So I never did any 8086 assembly language. I was mostly using C on MS-DOS. This book's 1980. Programming example by example by Kelly Boodle. I did a little sixty eight thousand programming. So this is assembly language for sixty eight thousand sixty eight zero ten sixty eight zero twenty sixty eight zero thirty. I've got some 68,000 processors somewhere. Wonder if, wonder if it's possible to get them going on a breadboard. Here's a receipt in here from Active Electronics. Just got product description, which is just a number that doesn't mean anything to me. Wonder, I 
was wondering if that was when I was buying processors. Or what? One of them might be this book. So this was 1989. 68,000 microprocessor handbook by Gary Kane. Nineteen eighty one. When was the sixty eight thousand book done? Nineteen eighty eight. Sam's did a lot of good books, too. The 8,000 Assembly Language Programming by Gary Kane, Doug Hawkins, and Lance Leventhal. So that's 1981. Another Sam's book. 68,000, 68,010, 68,020 Primer. Stan Kelly Boodle and Bob Fowler. Is there a date here? Nineteen eighty five. Sam's books with 68,000 by Kelly Boodle. MC68440 Dual Channel Direct Memory Access Controller, February 1984. Got rid of most of my ind individual chip books except for the CPU books. MC68681, Dual Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. Stewart, 1985. M68000, 1632 bit microprocessor programming reference manual. Fourth edition. Sixty-eight thousand was like was nice and simple and straightforward, like the eight-bit processors. None of this funny paging memory stuff. Nineteen eighty-four. MC 68000 1985 parallel interface timer 1983 Z 8000 
assembly language programming. Lance E. Leventhal. Adam Osborne. Chuck Collins. Nineteen eighty. So that was pretty well the end of buying books in this series. So that's all for this video.